بسم الله ما شاء الله جزاك الله خير جزاك الله خير الحمد لله الحمد لله ونحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى اله وبارك وسلم صل عليه ورياته اجمعين الحمد لله ثم الحمد لله It's very blessed night tonight of Shab-e Barat. It's also called Shab-e Mubarak or Shab-e Rahmat, the night of Rahmat, right of mercy, night, the uh, holy night, the blessed night, the night of Barat. Barat means the night of freedom from hellfire. So this night is a very blessed night Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has given us for the sake of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa sallam, we should be thanking to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every single breath that we take we should be thanking that he made us human being first of all then he made us amongst the umma of sayyidina rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and we should be saying thanks that he put us in the right sect in the right aqida he has given us and apart from that there are so many other rewards and bounties that he has given us so we should say thanks to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for every single thing that we have received today and obviously this very uh, beautiful night that allah has given us for the sake of sayyidina rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam in simple words that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to forgive the umma of sayyidina rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and he says that oh my beloved prophet sayyidina rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam you won't even realize before you even realize i will forgive your umma on the day of judgment So this is the promise Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala has made and now these kind of uh, uh, special nights that Allah has given us and this is Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala make the wasila of these nights so he can forgive us for some reason even if we do something Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala say rahmat e haq baha nami jo sher mein jo rahmat e haq baha nami jo hai baha nami jo hai the the mercy of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala looks to, uh, looks for the excuses so he can forgive you it does not want to run away from that rahan bahane nahi talash karti allah ki zat allah ki zat to bahane talash karti hai bakhshne ke na ke jaan chhudane ke allah ki zat to jaan nahi chhudati allah to chahta hai ki uska banda uske paas aaye aur usse jab tauba aur istighfar kare jab usse kuch mange to allah ki zat usko ata karti hai isi liye allah ne ek raat di hai is raat ke bare mein aata hai ki sayyidna isa alaihi salam he was walking past a beautiful stone bada khoobsurat ek pot ek stone tha ek patthar tha he was walking past that stone it was white like an egg and he looked at the stone and started thinking it's a beautiful stone and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to hazrat isa alaihi salam oh my isa do you want to see what's inside it and hazrat isa alaihi salam became more interested in that and he said yes bari taala i would love to see what's inside the, that stone and allah swt ordered the stone and stone apart apart into two pieces it became to turn into two pieces wo toot gaya alag ho gaya and then has isa alaihi salam said that oh bhai taala who is this man this he saw there's a man inside that stone and he was doing the ibadah of allah subhanahu wa taala on one side he saw has isa alaihi salam saw the river is flowing and on the other side he saw um, a beautiful uh, fruit of a uh, grape there was there was a, a tree of a grape tree and he was taking uh, grapes and he was eating when he he needs to well, drink water he used he was drinking from that river and both of those things were inside that rock and the man was inside that rock and was doing the ibadah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has isa al islam became more and more interested and he started to wonder how come a man is inside this stone and doing the ibadah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is providing the water as well as the food inside that very stone has the isa al islam asked that man oh beloved pious person of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell me about yourself how come you ended up in this in this stone and since when you are in that stone he said i am the ummati of i am the companion of musa al islam and i worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i have been worshiping allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for more than 400 years So since Musa al-Islam passed 
And since that time, till Isa al Islam, there were more than 400 years gone past. And he said, I am since that time, I am in that stone. And I'm doing the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for four, more than 400 years. And whenever I need to eat something, I eat from these grapes. Allah has provided me that provision. And whenever I need to drink water, I drink water from that river that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it flow from my stone, from that rock. Subhanallah, mashallah. And as Isa al Islam thought to himself and he made dua from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh, Bari ta'ala, is there anybody? I don't think there will be anybody who can be more pious than this person. After the Prophet, there will be nobody who is as pious as this person who is in this stone and st st still doing your ibadah. He's so only pious. worshiping you. He's not doing anything else. Apart. He's not doing Mas anything. You've given him everything in, in that stone. Mas so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Isa al Islam, Oh my Isa, there is people. There is not one person. There are people. There's a whole nation which will come after you. The last messenger, Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, my beloved Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he will come, his Ummah, I have given them one night. And that one blessed night, anybody who does, who just read two rakat nafal in that night, I will give him a reward of 400 years of his place. SubhanAllah, MashaAllah. Their two nafal rakat will be hmm. greater than his 400 years of ibadah. And Al Hazrat Isa al Islam asked Bari Ta'ala, Oh Bari Ta'ala, then tell me which night is that? Hazrat Isa, Isa al Islam ne poocha ke Bari Ta'ala, wo raat hume hi pata hai, zara koon si wo raat hai? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, that is the raat of Shabbi Barat. Subhanallah, mashallah, mashallah. Ye raat aaj hi ki raat hai, jiske baare mein Isa al Islam se lan ka ke bai, ye wo raat hai, jiske ek sirf do rakat nafal pad le mera banda, to unko ustna sawaab hooga, jisna us char so saal, lekin, that doesn't mean, brothers and sisters, that if we read two rakat nafal and that's enough, I've got the reward for 400 years of ibadah. But first, we need to think have my two rakat nafal been accepted or not? Has it been accepted or not? Did I follow the right path? Did I pray properly? Or did I depend on my previous sin before I'm able to read the salah? First thing we need to do. Very important tonight Thanks. is the night Allah. when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come down or, uh, with his mercy comes down to the first sky of earth. Zameen ka jo pehla asman hai, us pe aata hai, Allah ki zaat tajalliyat farmati hai. He sent his manifestations down on earth, uh, towards the earth. And he sent his mercy down on earth to the first sky of earth. And then it stays, it starts from the maghrib and it carries on till the uh, sun, uh, sunrise the next day, following day. Then what happens? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders the angel to open the 300 doors of Jannah. Jannah the of Allah and then yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made all the angels to start announcing that is there anybody who is asking for repentance? I can forgive their sins. And is there anybody who's looking to get more provision? I will give them more provision if they want to ask for it. Is there anybody who's looking to get shifa from any kind of disease and calamities? I will give them whatever they ask for. Allah. And that announcement carries on. Every single thing you name it, you want to get Allah. angels Subhanahu. there to announce for you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that announcement carries on until the morning. Or you ask anything you need from me, I will give you tonight. He free the people from hellfire. The amount of people he frees from hellfire is equivalent to the, uh, the hair on the goat of Bani Kalb. Bani Kalb, ye kabila tha, it was a tribe, was well known for having the most goat in Arab. And oh, every God. single valley you go to, you used to see the, the goats of Bani Kalb. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the example. Imagine how many hairs do we have on our head? We're not able no. to count them. So sure. Imagine a goat, a single one single goat. How many hair does that goat have? Thousands and millions no. and millions of hairs. And oh, imagine God. the amount of goats that time 
hundreds and thousands of goats Allah. and does not free the amount of people equivalent to the hair on those goats Allah, Allah. Help them free them give them the freedom from that's why it is called the, the night of baraat the freedom Allah. from hellfire to ye raat jo hai badi barkat wali raat hai is raat ko zaya na hone de is raat mein ibadat kare aur jab dusri wajah ye ke ye raat kyu aham hai huzur pak ne farmaya ke is raat mein jo quran e pak ka bhi hukm hai ke allah tbarak wa taala farmata hai ke humne is raat mein us kitab is kitab ko nazil farmaya ab isme ulama farmate hain lailatul qadr mein raat ko jo utarna wo quran e pak ka utarna aur hai usme lohe mahfooz se aasman e duniya ki taraf ek waqt mein aaya वहां से थोड़ा थोड़ा तेईस साल के अरसे में जमीन पे हुजूर पाक पर नाजल होता गया जब जब जरूरत थी तो इस रात में जो था जो भी कुछ लोहे महफूज पे लिखा होता है वो आसमान दुनिया की तरफ आता है तो नाइट इन विच अल्लाह लोहे महफूज एंड अल्लाह सेंड दम ऑन दिस नाइट टूवर्ड्स दर्थ द फर्स्ट स्काई ऑफ अर्थ एंड देन इट कैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन दी एंजल्स वट एवर ड्यूटी एंजल है ये जो है ये साल जिस तरह हमारा साल होता है टैक्स का साल द वे वी हैव अ टैक्स ईयर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम अप्रैल 5th ऑफ अप्रैल और 4th ऑफ अप्रैल सो इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम हियर सेम वे द एंजल द ईयर ऑफ एंजल्स ऑफ ड्यूटीज फॉर द देयर देयर ड्यूटीज गेट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एंड दैट ईयर स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम 5th ऑफ शाबान ऑनवर्ड्स बिकॉज़ दे गेट देयर ड्यूटीज एवरीथिंग इज रिटन देयर अबव इज लोहे महफूज बट द लिस्ट ऑफ दोस ड्यूटीज इज गिवन टू एवरी सिंगल शाबान द नाइट ऑफ this shaban the 5th of shaban 15th of shaban and they were given all the lists so that this is what you're going to do for the next whole year and every single person's provision is written the how much provision he will get for the next year how many time he will breathe how many steps is he going to take how many time is he going to sleep how many time how much time is he going to spend uh, waking how many time he will go to the hajj or the umrah everything is written in this that list and then so it is also written that who is going to live in that one year and who is going to depart and when they're going to depart every single thing whatever it is written at lohe mahfuz it is given in this blessed night to those angels subhanallah it night has another importance the aur ye to quran ka bhi hukm hai fiha yufraq kullu amr al hakim that in this night in this blessed night allah subhanahu wa taala decide all the matters what's going to happen for the next following year and then the duties are passed on to the angels whatever duties they have they get on with their duties in this night so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said spend that night doing the ibadah while your amal as being uh, given uh, to the angels new uh, uh, life new things are given uh, to the angel and angel same way angel give it back to the uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those angel who take it back to the malaika have for like naima naima amal ulama say jodha shaban hai jo jab pure saal ka jo record hota hai whatever we do on the 14th of shaban that goes back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then the new yes, list comes out and they take those next new list in that yes, according to this ulama says that you should be and huzur sallallahu alaihi wasallam said as well that you should be fasting on the 14th and the 15th so the yes. day your amal is being given to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala handing being handing over to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the new list is being taken at those moment you should be in a fast the moment you in the fast you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will automatically come towards you subhanallah mashallah ye allah ka bada ehsaan hai ab isme bani qurb ki jo bakriyon ke itne sawab ke milte hain lekin jo bhi shakhs ibadat karta whoever does the ibadah in this blessed night allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them a few people a few people need to repent on this in not just even we should repent even we we don't do such a thing that if we not done it maybe we have done something we shouldn't exclude ourselves from any of these kind of things so first thing we should do tonight is seek repentance on our sin because there are a few people if they have maybe we have done the same things they may be knowingly or unknowingly maybe we have committed such a kind of uh, a sin so we don't know yeah. we should That's always right. seek repentance before we do the ibadah start the ibadah so seeking repentance from the there are um, a few types of people in one narration there are six in one narration there are 12 type of people first mm. the people who disrespect their parents they will not be forgiven even on this night when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give freedom of to the thousands and thousands of people from hellfire but those people who disrespect their parents they will not be forgiven until unless they seek repentance on their sins from their parents first and then from allah subhanahu wa taala 
the, I, I've always said that Hadith of Barakah, Rida ur Rabbi fi Rida il Walidi. The happiness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in the happiness of your parents, of your father. Subhanallah. The Ghadab ur Rabbi fi Ghadab il Walidi. Sakatul Sakatul Rabbi fi Sakatul Walidi. Or Ghadab ur Rabbi. Same words. The, the hate, the, 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 the um, anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in the anger of your parents, of your father. Oh, yeah. So imagine, brother and sister, at this, even this night, and we have hurt our parents, if we have, knowingly or unknowingly, we should seek repentance from. Sending a text message, oh, please forgive me tonight. This is what people nowadays do. Send a text message, oh, if I have ever done this, we don't mean it from our heart. When we're actually sending a message, how hard is it to ring that person if you really want to say sorry to the person? Wow. How hard is it? It, it's not hard. You can easily, you can go to see the person. Yeah. You can go to see. So people nowadays actually sending messages on to their own parents. Mom, dad, forgive me. Allah. Yeah, understand. If they live far away, you can give them a ring. You can go and visit. Them. So yeah. this is not the way, brother and sister, because as Ali al Murtaza Shaykh Khuda Karam Allah said yeah, yeah. that when it comes to Toba, you should do anything that you have done in the past. You, you when you do the Toba. Make sure you make that promise to yourself and with your Lord that I will not repeat it afterwards. And then Allah. what you do is you, you do the recovery of those things. If you have ever disrespected, go and seek repentance from them. And then when they give when they forgive you, then respect them in return. Same way, if you have missed your first salah, seek repentance on that first. And then make the promise that you will repeat that first salah, the, the qaza salah, Allah. you read and then you start that salah. You show with your action that you actually have done the repentance with wow. the true intentions. Same with the parents. When, once the parents, the people who uh, have hurt their parents, they will not be forgiven. So we should seek repentance from our parents. Then anybody who has ever made a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whoever have committed a shirk, polytheism, so they have to repent of their sins and reread the Kalma Sharif again and they do the Tawbah and say, we'll never do it again. And hate that. So when you do the Tawbah, when we seek repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should make sure that we say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I, 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 uh, whatever I did, I'm, I, I'm ashamed on that. Yes, Feel sir. sorry inside, not with your tongue only. Sometimes mm. say, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it doesn't work this way. Tawbah should... means properly. You hate what you do is wrong. And then you make yourself Think bad about it. Make yourself ashamed on what you do, and then do not repeat and hate that what you've done in the in the past. Pir aati hai us shakti bari jo apne rishtedaron se talu khatam karta hai. The people who break the ties with their family members, with their relatives, those people will not be forgiven until unless they go back, seek repentance from their relatives. If they broke on the ties, reconnect those ties. Once they connect, reconnect those ties, seek repentance, seek forgiveness from those people, then they come to the bargain of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surely will forgive for the sake of tonight. If, if you Allah. don't do that, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not accept your dua or ibadah even this night. Allah. Ye, ab, khole jate, there are 300 doors of Jannah open and and each wow. door have an angel, and that angel, every angel, announce according to their maqam and their rank. One angel announce, if you have ever done wrong to your parents, go seek repentance, and then come back to us. Allah will forgive you, and this is the door for you to enter from into Jannah. And this door will stay open for you until the sunrise. Tonight is the moment, brother and sister. If we have done that. Remember that now. We may not be able to hear that announcement, announcement but there are angels who are continuously doing that, especially to those people who have done such a sins. Allah. Astaghfirullah. Go make sure with you. Then ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will forgive you. And we are waiting at the door of Jannah for you. You will enter from that door. Only if you repent on your sin. Right. Brothers and sisters, do not waste this night. Do whatever you can. Read your surah, read the, even repeat your salah. Learn how to read your salah. 
uh, ask someone, ask the masala, and try to read the Quran Nepal. Because if you don't know, if, if you can't read the Quran Nepal, open the Quran Nepal. Looking at the Quran Nepal is also ibadah. You will also receive reward. Yes, and if you try your best, even you can't read, but you try, and you get double reward. Yes, if you know how to read. He gets one reward. Saying the Sula Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "If you read, if the person who knows how to read the Quran and he reads, he gets one reward. And the person who don't know how to read but he still tries his best to read the Quran, he gets a double reward. So imagine, there you go. You got the blessings and rewards every time you do anything. So Rahmatul Haq Bahana Mi Joyat. So the Allah Swt, the Mercy of Allah Swt, looking for the excuse to forgive. So this is how Allah Swt will give you reward whenever you ask for the rewards. Anything you ask for, Allah gives you." So after the, the people who hate other people or have books for other people, they should repent on their sin and they should seek forgiveness from those people who they talk, uh, who backbite about, who, who they hate for no reason or whatever the reason, they should re uh, repent on that sin and then seek the repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then those people who have wrong aqidah and who have wrong aqidah, especially about Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, and who do wrong things constantly, those are the people who they will not be forgiven even. They have to repent on that sin and do thoba properly and the true thoba, and then Allah SWT will forgive them in this night. And then those people who commit zina, fornication, any physical relationship without nikah, without mm. nikah, any physical relationship, it is haram, it is class as zina and anybody who commits the zina until unless he does he for, seek forgiveness on that sin and feel ashamed and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive him. Sayyidina Rasulullah oh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam anadamu et tawba anadam or ek rawayat yu hai ke jis ne apne gunah pe uh, sharminda hua anadamu min zambi anadamu min zambi tawba ke jis ne apne gunah ko a person yes. who felt ashamed over his sin, this is also a kind of tawbah. So yes. we should be ashamed on what we do. If we don't feel ashamed, that means we don't really want the forgiveness from Allah. We're not saying it truly. If you really want to seek forgiveness from Allah, we should be ashamed over our sin. So we should seek repentance before and then we do the ibadah and then we seek repentance from Allah. Allah will forgive us for the sake of yes. tonight. And then Amen. the last person, it will not be forgiven, who drinks alcohol. Oh, Anybody who is, a, who is alcohol drinker, he will not be forgiven until unless he do tawbah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make sure that he does that properly and do it with the true intention and then seek repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surely will forgive that person. There are many things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran in Pak, La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not run away from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't go wrong with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mercy is always there. Don't think he will not forgive you. Whenever you need the forgiveness, just ask for it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive that person. I was mentioning um, uh, another story of a person who, of a Bani Israel. The children uh, from the Bani Israel, one of the men, he used to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He worshipped non-stop 20 years of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then for 20 years, he disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one no. day he was standing in front of the mirror and he felt ashamed that what, how good it was when I was worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And today, look, I am drowned in my sins. Allah. And the moment Allah. he felt, he said, he made dua from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh, ta'ala, if I come back to you, I worshipped you 20 years and then 20, 20 years I did not worship you. I went against you. And if I come back to you, would you accept me? And then he heard a voice. And that voice said, the, oh my person, oh my servant, when you used to come and worship me, when you used to love me, I used to love you. When you so stopped hard. loving me, when you start disrespecting, uh, disobeying me and ran away from me, I did not run away. I was there. Oh, I let you go. I given you freedom. Okay, if you want the freedom, you go whenever you want. So and hard. today you realized you done wrong and you now want to come back to me. My doors are always open for you to come back. Away, I was always there. And Allah is to Hamesha Reti Waybe. It's also for you to decide. Even if we seek repentance hundred times, and for some reason, if they, that gets broken, not that we when we're making the intention, we keep it, oh yeah, okay, I'll break it tomorrow or the day after. No. 
then the first it, it, toba did not happen even in the first place but if you right. make the true intention for some reason if that gets broken then you can go back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again even if you ask for the forgiveness 100 times you'll get the forgiveness you'll get the forgiveness even 100 times or thousands of times but brother and sister we need to repent on our sin at least we should feel ashamed of what we do if we do the wrong things that includes myself and other people as well so brother and sister tonight do not let go without doing the ibadah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay. what do we no. do what uh, if, we, if we most of the time i myself stay uh, awake up until two o'clock in the morning anyway sometimes no. i'm reading something sometimes just can't sleep or sometimes then i have to wait for my uh, fajr namaz and then i go to sleep after fajr namaz sometimes so it's not very hard plus it's also we're going to get used to it as well because ramadan is coming yeah. Yeah. Ramadan yeah. In, in a couple of weeks time inshallah ta'ala and then uh, um, we'll be awake anyway. So after Travi, then the, the, the Sahri time. So might as well start doing that from now on. And uh, uh, seek repentance. Do the ibadah. Nafal, surah, tilawat, naachri, drushif. If you're sitting at home, can't do anything, keep reading drushif. If you read drushif in a normal day, one time, you get the reward of 10 times. Yeah. And if you keep on reading drushif, imagine in this blessed night, every reward you get 100 times more. Subhanallah. Everything you do, so you need 1,000 tasbih of the Ru Sharif, 1,000 tasbih of Kalama Sharif, 1,000 tasbih of uh, Ayat Karima Sharif, 1,000 tasbih of Astaghfar, and then Allah. make dua, and that's enough. You get the reward of 40 years of ibadah. If you just read Subhanallah. Shari. Subhanallah. So that, even if some people argue, oh, there's no, it's weak hadith. There's no something. There's no such a thing. There's no this. No this. Imagine. Forget the the, the um, reward for a second. You're worshiping Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Isn't that enough? Isn't that enough? That if He wants to forgive us, He can forgive the person who all all his life is called Sanami, 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 and one night he from his mouth his tongue slipped, and his from his mouth it came out Ya Samadi. Salam Salam means a statue. A person, a statue worshipper, idol worshipper, he was worshipping his idol. He used to call every single night to his idol worshipper. He didn't, uh, the idol did not speak. The statue can't say baat karte But nahi bolte. And one mm. night from his tongue, it slipped. Ya Samadhi. Samad means uh, uh, the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala straight away answered, Labbaika ya abadi, labbaika ya abadi. So imagine the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A person who's not even worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who's worshipping an idol. An idol did not speak for so many years. And one time from his tongue, by mistake, this came out, Ya Samadhi. A name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya Labbaika Ya Abadi. The angel asked Bali Ta'ala, he's worshipping his uh, uh, idol. So why did you say Labbaika Ya Abadi? He, did, he didn't mean it. He said it by mistake. His tongue, he's half asleep as well. He, he's not worshipping you. So why are you saying Labbaika? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say to angel, oh my angel, he said that by mistake, he did today once. What if, if I don't say labbaik to him, what if this person will never come to me? He'll say, he'll say to me on the day of judgment, by Allah, even by mistake, I said your name, but you didn't say labbaik. I so didn't know humbling. whether you're a true God or not. So for me, for even though he said it by mistake, but it's my duty, my job that I should be saying labbaik to my abdi because I, Allah is waiting for the people that they should call, go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even because why, like I mentioned in the beginning, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a promise. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to fulfill that promise that, oh my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa, alayhi wa sallam, I will forgive your ummah without you even knowing. So this is the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to forgive us. Subhanahu He's looking Mash. to accept these small things. And the moment we do just one time that person said that by mistake the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah forgiven him yeah, so imagine if we do something we call ourselves Muslim we do ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we believe in day of judgment we know we're gonna die we know we're gonna yeah. wake up for the uh, day of judgment and we'll be questioned we believe in everything Jeez. and we love Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us if we truly ask for something may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Accept our du'as, our effort, and our Amen. congratulations. Amen. 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 Uh, all the organizer of me, Madad.